Welcome back. The political news in full. President Abdel Fattah al Sisi attended a session on the international responsibility for reconstruction of post conflicts harmed areas across the world. Addressing the session, President Sisi called for boosting efforts to stop disputes and conflicts worldwide and added that all countries should work together to revive peace building and prosperity. More details. President Abdel Fattah Sisi attended a session on the international responsibility for reconstruction of post-conflict harmed areas across the world. Addressing the session, President Sisi called for boosting efforts to stop disputes and conflicts worldwide and added that all countries should work together to revive peace, building and prosperity. The president asserted Egypt's readiness to positively interfere to solve the Yemeni crisis and asserted constant support for the UNRWA in its mission in the reconstruction of Gaza. The session tackled the conditions of refugees suffering consequences of conflicts of their countries around the world. The session started with the words of Ambassador of Yemeni Youth at African Arab Council on the situation of the Yemeni people during the conflict. Also, Director of the UNRWA Bureau in Cairo, Sahari Gaburi, discussed the conditions of Palestinians under the Israeli occupation, especially people in the Gaza Strip. Meanwhile, the Regional Director of the UN Gender Equality addressed the session via video conference, tackling violence against women and children in disputed areas. The EU First Consultant of Human Rights in Cairo also focused on efforts to boost peace and security within the terms of international accords concerning human rights, including migration issues. The USAID Mission Director addressed the session via video conference on conflicts in Sub-Saharan and Middle East regions. Earlier, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi attended on Wednesday a session of the World Youth Forum Development Initiatives Confronting Cop Poverty. During the session, President Sisi applauded the Egyptian youth for their role in Decent Life Initiative and in organizing the fourth edition of the World Youth Forum. Regarding the issue of poverty, the president said that the state has exerted great efforts to combat poverty in Egypt and support the most needy ranks. The head of state reiterated that the government spent more than six trillion pounds to face this issue during the past seven years. El Sisi also asserted that 300,000 housing units were established in the year 2021, aiming to reach a target of one million units across the country. Meanwhile, President Sisi affirmed that Egypt carried out all precautionary measures to face coronavirus and harmed categories by its outbreak. He added that Egypt succeeded to overcome the economic repercussions of the pandemic and expressed gratitude to the Egyptian people for taking over the economic reform process during the past years. Minister of Planning and Economic Development Dr. Hela Al Said addressed the session of the World Youth Forum on Development Initiatives Confronting Poverty. In her speech, Al Said said the international and African economic agenda stressed the importance of eliminating poverty in all countries. The minister pointed out that the coronavirus pandemic impacted the world economy, the matter which led to rearrange priorities and to give all attention to the sectors of health, education, agriculture and communications. Meanwhile, Al Said asserted the state's keenness on improving living conditions in rural areas across the country through presidential initiative Decent Life and providing services needed for the sake of women's health. <laughs> 